We've seen how to match literal characters, and now we've introduced a wildcard, the dot, that can stand for any character at all. However, very often, what we want is not something at either extreme, either the exact literal character, or a completely permissive wildcard that allows any character to be used in its place, but rather a very specific subset of characters from which any one of those could be valid. For instance, we may think that fox and box are the kind of matches that we're looking for, but we don't want to match ox because it's a two-letter word. So we need a way of explaining to Perl the kind of parameters that we're looking for when we're trying to match these kind of words. In this case, Perl needs to be able to distinguish the difference between the space character and a letter of the alphabet. We can do this by using a character set. We enclose a character set within square brackets and it can be as extensive as we like. Here is an example. In this case, we're selecting only F and B within our character set. So, Perl is looking for either an F or a B followed by and then an O and then an X. So in this case, fox and box are matched, but ox, with only the space before it, is not. We could, however, want to open our parameters in a more broad way to include any letter of the alphabet and exclude other characters such as numbers or spaces or punctuation. We can do this without typing out every letter of the alphabet from A to Z into our set here. We can do it by using a range such as this A to Z range here. And Perl is able to detect that we're looking for a range because we've included a hyphen within the square brackets. So this range here will admit fox and box, but it will exclude ox. And it could potentially include any other sequence of an alpha, alphabetical character followed by an O and then an X. An immediate consideration is how to express the hyphen within a character set. Since it's being used here as a meta character to let Perl know that the character set we're looking for are all the letters that appear in the range between A and Z, we could have problems if we wanted to match a literal hyphen rather than matching range.